of freedom, his spirit was born. Thara, they named him Thara. Like the wind, like the wind that is free. Thara, they named him Thara. To be king of the bush, his destiny. In the secret mountain veins, through the mist and ancient trees, runs the ghost like horse so proudly, silent as the breeze. Thara, they named him Thara. He's the son of the wind, strong and free. Thara, they named him Thara. Nature plays its range of tricks on the creatures who live in the high country as it does on those who live elsewhere. The four elements, water, fire, earth and wind, are sometimes in harmony. Other times they compete, and when two elements come together, instead of bringing benefit, they sometimes bring pain. Of course, it doesn't help when one or more of the elements gets a helping hand from man. How's it going, mate? Ah, not so much as a nibble in the last half an hour. <laughs> and you were the one that was going to cook fresh trout for lunch. At this rate, we'll be lucky not to have to dig up a wombat and roast it. Gunshot, all right. The man? He's back at his hut. I don't think it would be him. He and the others who have cattle don't use guns, usually. Storm, you and Golden go back and warn the herd. Boon Boon and I'll see what's happening. Thanks a lot, mate. You're scared off the fish for sure. Oh, it's just a bit of sport. Keep your shirt on. Every time you bring that blunderbuss up here, you never hit a thing. <laughs> Judging by your fishing expertise, I doubt you could do better. The fish might not be biting, but I was the best shot in me gun club. Oh, were you now? That's what gets me with you. You really think you're so much better. You're fooling yourself, mate. You're just a legend in your own mind. Mate, hey, what's wrong with you? Did you get out of bed the wrong side this morning? Look, that's Aranda down there. We best be careful. The Brolga could be close by. <laughs> and I don't want any smart remarks from you. I'm not saying a thing, mate. Not while you're in this frame of mind. It doesn't make sense. He's trying to kill animals just for fun. These aren't stockmen. Stockmen care for animals. They might hunt brumbies, but not to kill us. Oh, I don't understand these humans at all. Oh, book, oh, book. There's nothing worse than man with a gun, especially when he shoots at animals for fun. Mm, so true, Mopoke. I just don't know why they do it. Why do they have to bring guns up into the high country? Why don't they just leave us in peace? Oh, yes, peace would be sweet, but the best animals can do is be fast on their feet. <laughs> oh! Run for it, Boon Boon. Did you see that? Two brumbies and a dopey looking bird. Yeah, and they all got away. <laughs> Look, what did I tell you about making smart remarks? Oh, calm down. You can cool off while we have a drink. Come on. <sighs> oh, that was a close one. Oh, but what about Mopoke? Was he hurt? Mopoke, Mopoke. His shooting did no harm. I doubt if he could hit the broadside of a barn. <laughs> 
That's the way, mate. You just soothe your ruffled nerves with a spot of fishing. The billy will be boiled in a few minutes and we'll have a nice cup of tea. That's the thing with fishing. Even when they're not biting, it's relaxing. <laughs> Hey, what's that I smell? Smoke! Oh, 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 typical, typical. Come on, back the other way, quick, quick. You can just sit here soaking up the sun, not a care in the world. Yeah, soaking up the sun's right. This must be one of the hottest days on record. You know, anybody would think the sun was right behind. <laughs> Calm down, mate. I know it's a bit hot on the back, but. Ah. 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 No! 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 Hey? Benny! Benny, it was incredible. These men just shot at us for no reason. I can't understand. We're in more danger than that. More danger? What could be more dangerous than men with guns? Haven't you noticed the air? For goodness sake, it's... Yes. What is that black stuff? Black stuff? I can't believe you two. I thought you were... I'm sorry, I forgot. You won't have seen a bushfire before. A bushfire? Never. Bellbell We've got to me... try to see where it is. Come on! <laughs> the beauty of the high country. Glorious sunshine and fresh, clean air. <laughs> what? What kind of <coughs> cloud is this? Oh, no. I've known heat waves before, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> I'd better tell the boss. That's where we've just been. Near the men's camp. Uh, I might have known men were behind this. Fires can kill, but we'll be all right if we're sensible. We have to get to a safe waterhole before the flames engulf us. Thara, you and Boon Boon, leave now and warn any animals you see. I'll gather my family and follow. We'll meet at the waterhole on Cascade Creek as soon as possible. Good luck, Benny. Danger? I say, you don't see any sign of danger, do you? Not a skerrick new, do you? Oh, no, absolutely and definitely not. Oh, wise and wonderful Addo, do you sense any danger in the air? Uh, um, no. Arrow? Hey? Arrow! Arrow, didn't you hear the gang gangs? Run for your life! There's a bushfire on the way. Oh, no! What next? Now you two are taking orders from a flock of silly birds. Silly birds? Oh, you shouldn't listen to silly birds, should they, Mew? Oh, no. Silly birds are never to be listened to. We absolutely not. This is fire, Arrow. You should take precautions, like Benny said. Silly birds and a silly old kangaroo. We're perfectly happy here. The grazing's good and the grass is delicious. And if there's any danger... I reckon I'm just about as quick as the wind and I can gallop fast enough to keep myself out of trouble. Suit yourself, Arrow. Those who want to, follow me. Danger! Danger! <laughs> danger! <laughs> Boom, boom. Thaura! Ah! What is my daughter doing with the upstart who would challenge me as the leader of the high country Brumbies? Father, I... There is no time for quarrelling, Brolga. We're all in danger. Prepare There's a... to fight, Thaura. 
The day of reckoning has come. Father, please listen. There's a... And as for you, Boon Boon, you're a disgrace to your herd. Ah! ah! Disaster, oh delectable dreadnought. Not now, Karawong. I'm about to teach that young... Bushfire, sire! Bushfire! Heading this way fast. Bushfire? That's what we've been trying to tell you, Brolga. And not only that, Aranda and Two Folds are in immense danger. What are you talking about? They're in the Box Canyon, and the fire's heading their way fast. There'll be no escape. Uh, just a ruse, Thara, to avoid me thrashing you. No, Father, it's true. I saw them there. I wouldn't lie. I suppose I must believe you. But, Karawang, you fly ahead and check out their story. I'll follow. Aye, aye, sire. Oh, a nice cup of tea, you reckon? <laughs> oh, oh, no. They'll be caught like billy goats in a bog. <gasps> Boon Boon, look down there. Smoke from the old prospector's chimney. Oh, he must be home. And the bushfire circled round. help here anymore. Let's go. Impossible. It can't be done. Oh, master, master! It's true, mighty Brolga. Aranda and the foals are in the box canyon and the fire's headed straight to all... I knew you could do it. <laughs> I didn't doubt it. Get out of there this instant, Karawang. Get back and warn the herd. <laughs> oh, that's no good. I can't save her. No, but you can still save yourself. Oh, thank heavens you're here. The Silver Bramby. He saved me. Quickly, climb up before it's too late. Okay, okay. And follow me! Quickly! Run for your lives or we'll be trapped! <sighs> we can't get through! We'll have to head to the Kraken Back River! It's our only chance! Oh. For jump! I can't. I I must go back and find Arrow. Don't do it, Thara. Arrow's old enough to look after himself. <laughs> typical, typical Thara, not minding his own business. <laughs> Save yourself, Thara! Save yourself! Both he and Emus will perish because of his pride and stubbornness. Oh, Thara, I know it's useless preaching. Go if you will, but I'll come back with you. No, I'll travel faster by myself. Pam it! 
panic! Help! Help! Oh, this is all Farah's fault! He didn't make what he was talking about clear enough! And you two silly birds aren't any better! Silly birds? I thought the gang gangs were the silly birds, didn't you, Mew? Almost categorically, eh? They were silly because they shouted danger, danger, when there was none! Yes, Sierra, the gang gangs are the silly birds because they shouted danger, danger, when there was none! What are you talking about, you silly birds? We're surrounded by danger! And five minutes from now, all that'll be left of you is roasted drumsticks! Panic, panic! Danger, danger! Run, run! Escape, escape! Waterhole, and there's only one way left. Follow me and stick close. Many of us are safe. This way, follow me. The water hall is not far ahead. Ah! Ah! Oh! Ah! Hey! Ah! Let me out of here! Help! Let me out of here! Help! Help! Ah! Ah! Help! I'm getting a hot head! I'm getting a hot head! Ooh, ooh. Boiling, my brains are boiling. Oh. 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 <laughs> this Scarabong may be a spy, but I don't think he deserved to fry. <laughs> Don't lose heart. The river's just ahead. Fire! On all sides! We're trapped! No. Over there. A break between those rocks. Follow me! Be brave. Stay behind me. The flames won't get past the mighty Brolga.
Oh, ho, 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 ho. a timely drop of rain can certainly save a lot of pain. Oh, ho, ho. Ah. If I were you, at least you've a place to go home to. Many a bird has lost its nest and has no place in which to rest. All right, all right. No lectures, please. Oh, oh, blimey. Talk about waterlogged. I haven't felt like this since the time I jammed me big toe in the bath plug hole. Yeah, that was a close one. Next time you want a cup of tea. Oh no, the Jeep! And the tent and our gear! Burnt to a flaming crisp! Oh, took me years to save for that Jeep. Well, this is one fishing trip I'd sooner forget. But. At least I managed to save me pride and joy for more hunting trips to the ca Hey! Hey, <laughs> <laughs> you, you come back here with that, you thieving fizzer brain! <laughs> Let him yell and scream and shout. That's one less gun we'll worry about. <laughs> While the threat of fire and its indiscriminate destruction of life and vast tracts of the high country is a scourge to be feared, nature has a way of restoring the order of things. In time, the way of the bush will once again be as it was. However, a threat more sinister than fire and the actions of foolish men can be that of the unknown, as the mountain creatures were soon to find out. For all the beauty of the high country, it sometimes hides a darker side. A side that creates a fear, a fear of the unknown. Sometimes the darker side comes from the elements, the wind, the rain, the snow, the sun. 
Sometimes it is brought by man. This time, the darker side came by itself. How it reached the high country is not important. What matters is what happened when it got here. Steady, boy. Calm down. What's going on? What is that? What is what, eh? That thing that just sneaked into that cave over there. Well, I think I may have seen something. Didn't want to admit it, though. Oh, why is that new? What I thought I saw was quite scary, eh? Something from a nightmare, really? Yes, Mew, the most ugly thing I think I saw, too. Never seen anything like it before. Hope to never see anything like it again. What? Not again. Not more roads into the high country. What? No! Not a man-made monster this time. What? A real one! Oh, come off it. There are no real monsters in the high country. Well, what? I saw one. Huge it was. What? Bigger than a dingo, but smaller than a brumby. What? Growling. Always growling. What? With big mad eyes, like the burning. What? Coals in a man's fire. What? And grey and nasty and ugly. Mm, very ugly. You saw it too. Me? The gang gangs? Whoop! All of us! And you've already told them? Thought we'd be the first. Mm, at the very least, we thought we'd be the first. Oh, hang on. There's nothing around here that's anything like what you're all describing. Well, there is, isn't there, Mew? Dark and nasty and ugly. Mm, with an enormous tail and a giant teeth. Whoop! It didn't have an enormous tail. Mm, the one we saw did, didn't it, eh? Never saw one more enormous. And what about the fangs? Mm, the fangs? Well... Have to spread the news. Bye! Forgetting the emu's usual exaggeration, I don't like the sound of this beast. We better be careful until we find out just exactly what it is. Sense danger. Quickly, run for your lives. <laughs> Faster, it's gaining. <gasps> oh, no joke, Mopoke. Don't think, don't be slow, just go. It's gaining! You two. We are Mopoke. Oh no. Your brother. Where is he? Oh, this 
doesn't make sense. He, he was with us just a few moments ago. <sighs> Mopoke, Mopoke. Oh, thank you, Mopoke. You, you saved our lives. Please don't mention it, not at all. The trumpet sounds, the clarion call. In this our land, it's all for one and one for all. I know, but I'm still very grateful. I'll do the same for you one day, but can I ask another favour? I'm sorry to, but... I'll have no but. Could you keep an eye on this one while I... I... Oh, say no more. The deed is done. Go and find the other one. I don't know where he is. I just hope he's all right. I'm just... Ooh, 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 go. Ooh, 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 Did anyone hear the noises from the man's cattle during the night? Mm, we did. Well, not quite. We almost did. Almost. We heard from Whitbird, who most definitely did. Frightening, she said, didn't she, Mew? Mm, terrifying, she said. Howls and screams. Under attack, they were. <laughs> <laughs> all very worrying. That's all I've got to say. But let whatever it is near my family, and I'll give him what for. That's the spirit, Wombat. Mm, most commendable, Wombat. Oh, be quiet, you too. Well, really, then we won't tell you about what happened to Mrs Dingo and her pups and brave mobo. Yeah, well, we know already. You know? Well, really. Oh, Mrs Dingo, any news? Still no sign, I'm afraid. I've searched all around where the beast chased us. The pup must have wandered off. I hope he's... Oh, the beast might have him. Um, yep, yep, the beast might have him at oh, this very moment. Quiet, you two. There's no need for alarm. Alarm! alarm, alarm. alarm. We'll all look. We'll spread the word. He'll turn up. Don't worry. Cool! Baby Dingo! 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 I don't know, Echo. These tracks aren't like anything I've ever seen before. Might be that creature I heard about terrifying the low country. Could just explain those missing calves. Better be careful, fella. Any news of your young pup, Mrs Dingo? Still no sign of him. I have to assume the worst. He's just a youngster. He could be anywhere. Don't give up on him yet. I won't. I can't. It's just... What sort of creature is this? It's hard to say. It was dark. I just caught glimpses. The flash of huge teeth, shaggy hair, mad red eyes. Horrible. Perhaps you and your pup would like to spend tonight with us. Safety in numbers. We'll do that, Storm. Thank you. Take care, all of you. We'll keep looking. He'll turn up. You'll see. Hey, where's Golden? I don't know. Well, who cares? She doesn't speak to me, remember? I wasn't asking you, Arrow. I was asking everyone. We've got a beast on the prowl in the high country, and everyone is in danger. Well, sorry, Thara. I was keeping an eye on the young ones. She must have slipped off. Well, no one strayed too far today. We must all be together by nightfall. <laughs> we must all be together by nightfall! What's the matter, Sarah? <laughs> Not afraid, are you? It's just common sense, Arrow. If the beast attacks, then... <gasps> The beast! The beast! What a load of rubbish. I simply don't believe that such a thing... <laughs> OK, Arrow, I guess you know best. You can spend the night out alone searching for Golden. Uh, uh, what? What? Uh, oh, and leave these foals unprotected? <laughs> I'll stay close, just in case. Right. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll go and search for Golden. <laughs> hey, Mopo. <gasps> ooh, ooh, what? I haven't seen any sign of Golden, have you? A handsome filly did go by. But if you wish to catch her, you'd better fly. Huh? But that's towards the man's hut. Why should she go there? If in doubt or feel in danger, go to where you are no stranger. 
Mm. True, Mopoke, that's probably it. But she's safe with us. I don't understand. Ooh, ooh. Ooh. Who's to tell when there is fear what the mind does not make clear? i better find her. And you take care. But what am I telling you for? You've done better with this creature than any of us, Mopoke. To me, no one is beholden. Just doing me job. Now, go find Golden. Right, Mopoke. I hope he finds her safe and sound. Cos safety's a problem with the beast around. <sighs> Hello, Golden. Laura, I, I wasn't expecting you. Uh, the, the man's not here. I've been watching for quite a while. I know. He's trying to track down the beast. It took two of his calves last night. Golden, it's dangerous being out on your own. The dingo pup is still missing. And why did you come here anyway? The, the herd's good protection and The I... hay, the, the, the beautiful sweet hay. I've missed it, see, and I, I thought just one mouthful. You should try some, it, it's delicious. <laughs> Mmm, doesn't taste bad. But is it really why you came? Huh? Oh no, it's the beast! <laughs> That's no beast. <laughs> <laughs> that was a pretty good place to hide from the beast, pup. Your mother's been very worried about you. Follow us and we'll take you back. The man, it must be him. Quickly, follow me. <laughs> Something's really wrong. He never uses his gun. We better follow and see what he's up to. But we'll get our young friend home safely first. <laughs> oh, 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 the young pup's home, safe from the beast. Thank heavens he didn't become the creature's feast. Oh, Thara, I don't know how to thank you enough. <laughs> don't thank me. It was Golden's taste for hay that saved the day. <laughs> Where are you going? To find the man and see what he's up to. But it'll be dark soon, Thara. I've got to find out if he got the beast or not. I'll be all right. You go back to the herd with Storm. I don't want to go. Don't be silly, Golden. I won't go. You'll be safer there. But I only feel safe with you. All right, then. But keep close. He didn't get it. He's on watch in case it comes back tonight. We better get back. Oh, but it's a long way and, and dark. I had to find out. And you did want to come. Well, yes, well, I, I just felt that... <gasps> Can you see what's happening? Winged him. God, he'll be angrier and nastier than ever. Did you see where the beast went? No, but something tells me we better get out of here. Golden, keep up. It's too dangerous to be separated. I'm exhausted and scared. Oh, I'm sure something's following us, Thara. We can't rest yet. We must keep going. Oh, oh, all right, all right. Just give me a chance to catch my breath. Golden! Oh. Ah. What's all 
a noise up here. Hey! Sore head! Sore head! Wombat, good on you. You're a real warrior. Beast or no beast, I need a good night's sleep. <laughs> oh, Thalra, I'm bleeding. Oh, those horrible great tusks. Oh, no. You're badly hurt. Oh, Thalra, I'm frightened. I don't feel well. It's okay, Golden. Maybe the man can help. He should be back at his hut by now. Come on, and this time stay in front. Good luck and good night. but it still didn't stop him. That creature's hide must be as hard as a rock. Oh, oh thanks, Thara. Are you okay? Yes, but don't thank me. I should have insisted you went back to the herd. It was my fault. Uh. I shouldn't have come down here in the first place. It doesn't matter. But the man will look after you, so just get better. I'll be back for you soon. <laughs> took real courage, and that mad animal could have killed you both. Uh, the word spread. I got here as fast as I could. Is she all right? The man will care for her. Steady girl. Mm, that's a bad wound. Uh, we'll fix it up as good as new. Mm, that's all very well, but what about the beast? It's still on the prowl, wounded, and as nasty as ever. Oh, sounds as though it's ready to attack again. Oh, no. Where does it get the strength? I can't fight again. And the man can't see it from down there. <laughs> well done, Thara. He's terrified of you. Of me? But why? <laughs> Come along, gang gangs, follow me. We'll chase that beast all the way to the sea. <laughs> <laughs> Go you gang gangs! <laughs> Just look at the beast on the run. It's a long time since the gang gangs have had such fun. <laughs> oh, oh, oh no! What a blow! At this rate, the beast will never go. Wombat coming through. Wombat coming through. Disturb me sleep, would ya? Oh, oh, Wombat arrived just in time to turn the tide of battle. How sublime! All right, Wombat. Push! I don't believe it. Flows straight to the sea, the beast's return will never be. I think that's the last we'll be seeing of that monster. Thank goodness for that. I don't think I could have held out for much longer. If the man. Don't had... be modest, Thara. Oh, back to 
to sleep. Back to sleep. That's all I ask. <sighs> A good night. <laughs> <laughs> As I was saying, that was very brave. You know, I think that brash young colt I once knew has almost vanished. Like a disappearing ghost horse? Like a disappearing ghost horse indeed. And in his place is an almost fully grown noble stallion. Now's the time to use all that knowledge, wisdom and skill you've been getting to prove that you're worthy of your destiny. King of the Cascade Brumbies? King of the Cascade Brumbies, Thara. And as great a king as ever your father was. That I'll be, Benny. You have my word. You all have my word. <laughs> so Thaura made a vow to all the creatures of the high country, and to Golden in particular. His fame spread far, and his deeds became those of legend even to creatures far away. But he was not yet ready to challenge for the crown. <laughs>